Schizophrenia is generally thought to be the most severe form of mental illness. Mm. Most patients and families isolate themselves, believing that they're the only ones going through this turmoil. Mm. What is your opinion about psychoeducation available today to help children of schizophrenics? It's better than it used to be, but that's not saying a lot. There, there are articles now, my book and several other books who do talk about the experience of having a mentally ill parent, especially a mother, just because mothers are usually the caretakers in our society still, not, not to take away from the fathers, the importance of the fathers, but that's usually who's around the children more. <clears throat> um, so it is better. There are, uh, you know, there's NAMI, which is a group for, for family members, it, that's in the United States anyway, uh, of people with mental illness. That's National Association for the Mentally Ill, NAMI. And, um, but we, you know, we need much, much more. And uh, I would like to see every person with schizophrenia have their family, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, given literature, just like we would give literature for other illnesses. Exactly. Uh, uh, give them literature about what is going on with their mom and how they can a help and b take care of themselves yes what they, what they can expect and you know what resources are available for them exactly because i've talked to friends who even say well my mom was an alcoholic and there was yes. support there's there's different um, kind of support networks, even for terminally ill, you know, patients, parents who right. have other illnesses. And with this one, we're, we're pretty much on our journey, uh -huh. finding resources and trying to meet other people as well who can relate to this experience, because otherwise it's kind of like, oh, just, just tell your mom to take medication. She'll be right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and 70% of people with schizophrenia refuse to take medication, which is a huge barrier for their getting better. Exactly. Uh, I uh, One reason I wrote the book was that I was a psychology student in the 1980s, and lots of literature started coming out about families of parents with an addiction, uh, alcoholic parents and uh, so on. And I kept waiting for the next wave to be about the effects of mental illness on families. Yes. And it never came. So I decided to write this book I, I wanted to read. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, and I honestly, that's why a friend of mine recommended it a few months ago. And, and she said, Sandy, it's called Growing Up with a Schizophrenic Mother. And I was like, but that's, it has my name all over it. <laughs> I grew up with a schizophrenic mother. And in that Sandy. Instance, yeah. <laughs> In that instant, I bought it and I devoured the book um, mm. because there were so many things that you can relate to that other people, even close friends who are empathetic and they're supportive, uh, and, and that's really appreciated. A lot of the times when you talk perhaps to people who, who don't really understand the depth and, and the, the sadness and everything that this entails, they're like, oh, you'll be right, and they don't mm -hmm. really know. <laughs> I, I talk about it being a, a language that only we can understand at a certain point. Yes. Because we've been through it because other people's eyes glaze over like they can't just can't wrap their heads around it because it's so uh, bizarre. Mm 